Hey guys, today I'm going to show you how easy it is to put together the new Beta Peachy printer. And we're going to begin by grabbing one of the mirror assembly frames and we're going to insert it like we know what we were doing. We don't right now, we're still learning, but that's exactly what this step is for. We're just going to familiarize our hands with the process of going through the snap fitting. So, you know, grab a couple of parts, snap fit them together like this, go through the instructions or later in the video, see how they snap together and give it a shot, and then disassemble it. Get one of your acetate arrows and a couple of these really dinky magnets. Stick them on either side. Use your thumb to hold them on. Pull them off so they stay on the magnet tab. And hit them with a tiny bit of glue. I got a little too much, so I'm going to clean that off. But eh, you get the point. Glue them on there. Do the same with the other one. Tie about 16 centimeters of elastic thread to the end of your acetate arrow. Fold the tie end onto the opposite side of the magnets. Magnets, tie end. Take the elastic thread, route it through the hole from the top towards the magnets. Do the same thing to the other one. Once you've folded the tie tabs and you've got the elastic thread threaded through properly, go ahead and take this elastic thread, wrap it around a few times to lock it in place, making sure that the magnets are on top. Then you're going to glue it in place by adding some glue right there, or right here, but anyway, you get the point. Uh, once you've got that, make sure, before you really glue it down and finalize everything, make sure that this magnet over here is right in between these two tabs and on this side with the numbers. Peel the paper side of the magnet off, stick it on the acetate arrow on the same side as the magnets, fold the dampening tab away from the mirror and magnets, Get your clear plastic tubing and cut four two centimeter sections and get your magnets and the large square ones. Align them such that they stick together on the side and stick them in tubes like so. Grab one of your completed assemblies and this piece and insert it such that the half circle is lined up with the magnets. Insert one of the magnet tubes you just made into a mirror assembly and rotate it until the mirror is perpendicular, excuse me, parallel to the frame. You want to get as close as you can. Once you're satisfied, take it off. And mark it right in the middle bottom, right where the magnet is with the Sharpie. And glue one of these coils directly to it. Once you've got a coil thoroughly glued to one of these magnet tubes, stick it back in the frame in the half circle. This can be tough because you just glued a coil to it. And you might pop the coil off and you might have to re-glue it. But, once you've fed the wires through and everything's in place, you are done with the hard part of the build. Insert a mirror tube into the bottom hole of the mirror assembly and rotate it until the mirror is flush with the frame. 
there we go. Then, grab your static dampener mounts, so they look like this. I like this male and female piece here. There's also the L bracket. Get the riser pads, glue it white face down onto the smooth side of the female dampener mount. Insert the male dampener mount, glue on the disc, wait for the glue to dry, and while you're waiting, cut two one centimeter long lengths of RC hose and glue it on. Cut it in the middle, glue the edges. Do the same thing here with the L bracket. Then, once everything is nice and dry, insert the dampener mount into the frame. Flip the assembly over. Insert the frame into the mirror assembly so that the disc engages the dampening arm. Not quite engages, just very close. Just very, very close. This needs to be adjusted a little bit, but so you get the idea. Very close, but not quite touching. There we go, a little better. Then, grab a sharp implement, put some oil on the tab, or on the disc, whatever makes you happy. But you need to get some oil in between the disc and the dampening arm. And this is one of the tougher things to do. It's really dinky. You can see there, it's not too hard. Now that the mirror assemblies are complete, we're going to stick them together. Like so. With the three on the L bracket pointing at the three on the static dampening mount. There we go. Should make a nice tight fitting. The mirrors should be pointing at each other. Then grab your laser, center the aperture disc on top of it and glue it down. Restrict the amount of laser light coming through. Cut a four centimeter uh, length of RC tubing and slide it onto this laser mount. Just left a little hanging on to show you about what that looks like. There you go. Insert your laser. Grab the L. Oop, I've inserted it the wrong way. There we go. And it'll snap into place. It'll tell you when it's done. Just keep pushing all the way up. You can insert the laser tube now or later. Grab the second part of the frame. Don't need a hose on this one. It's got a nice tight fitting on the back. There we go. Get it all centered up. And you're good to carry on to the next part. Grab your circuit board and the foam that they've provided. Cut it into four even strips. Stick it diagonally on the back next to the mounting holes. Then, mount the frame and the circuit together by sticking the bolts into the circuit. Make sure that the heads of the screws, two small screws, are on the face of the circuit board nuts go on the frame side. And two diagonally make a good fit. Then the five up here goes into this hole of the L bracket. Grab your insulated wire and cut off three one centimeter long sections strip off about five millimeters of the insulation 
strip the insulation off of a, a centimeter or two off the end of your coil wires. Grab one wire from each coil and wrap them around one common lead like so. Then grab the remaining two coil wires and wrap them around their own individual leads. Then with one of the individual leads, insert it into port 3 of the circuit, 3 obviously being the middle one. Tighten it down until you've got a good connection with a precision screwdriver. Take the lead with the doubled up coil wires, stick it in the second slot, that is the one to the left of the middle. And make sure you've got a nice tight connection there. And finally do the same thing with the last coil wire into the first slot on the screw down terminal. Insert the white wire from the laser into port 5 of the terminal. Obviously that would be the top one. And eventually you're going to connect this wire to port 4. But right now we're going to leave it undone. There's a couple of calibration steps that you can do. You can attach this wire later. But don't forget to do it before you mount up your entire assembly. Grab the hollow aluminum rod and cut yours in half. I've cut mine a little bit shorter. I happen to know that I want mine configured that way. File a really little hole halfway through the aluminum rod. Don't want to go any farther than that. You know, just, just as little as it needs. It won't even look like a hole. It'll just look like it's covered over still, but you poke it out with a toothpick or something and the hole will appear. But if you go any farther than that, you risk snapping it off. Uh, one end of the aluminum rod, the end that you file, close to the end that you file, should be filed off and flattened. Uh, maybe pre-flattened, you may have to flatten it yourself. Use some needle nose pliers, it's not challenging. Uh, grab the syringe and pull the plunger out. Pull the black plunger tip off. Stick about 5 millimeters worth of Nitro RC line into it. Poke a hole with a sharp object or a screwdriver, whatever you got on hand, and then stick one piece of hollow tubing through it. Grab the piece with the closed end and the filed hole and stick it into the bottom of the syringe. Be really careful during this spot. You don't want to snap off the aluminum rod where you filed it. It's a weak spot, obviously. Stick the plunger in the top, and you are done making the valve. Grab one of the audio cables, cut off the end, strip off about four inches of insulation. Inside you're going to find three wires, a red, a blue, and a gold. Strip off the insulation, twist the blue and the red together, and then insert either the gold or the red and the blue through a one to three centimeter long piece of neon tubing depending on how long your aluminum rod is. Hold them together slide it over the aluminum rod. The function here is to create good connection for the audio cable there you go. Insert this standoff arm into the L bracket.
grab the main hanger, stick it onto the circuit board frame and the standoff arm, and you have completed the peachy printer. Now you move on to make your reservoirs and your enclosure and I am really curious about how you are personally going to do that. Uh, every Peachy users is probably going to be very different and that is one of the best things about this project. It's totally free and open to do as you please and that's that's every part and the software itself and every part about it but really for the quote-unquote average user this is the best part now you pick your enclosure and reservoirs and have fun but please post about it on the forums at 3d print board and also uh, on the peachy official forum that should be released later this year see you there